Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with a detailed explanation behind the maintenance valet interior wise whilst using the BMW 340i M Performance as the demonstration vehicle. Like all interior valets, I'll start with the higher up surfaces first, so we have the dashboard, infotainment system screen, steering wheel and steering wheel column, and obviously all of the front facing dashboard areas within chest height so to speak. For the maintenance valets, I will generally use a product called Auto Finesse Spritz, which is an interior detail spray so it cleans and adds a bit of a satin finish all in one step. This product is incredibly versatile and whilst I don't specifically use it for cleaning interior windows, infotainment system screens and painted piano black trim, the product doesn't tend to leave smears behind so it is okay if it does happen to come into contact with these types of surfaces. Whilst cleaning these types of areas including the air vents and around the steering wheel control buttons I use two brushes. We have the Swiss Fax interior detail brush and the super soft detail factory brush for those delicate areas. I'll apply a few spritzes of spritz into the detail brush and work the product into all of those gaps and crevices to release the trap dirt and dust. All of the flatter surfaces so to speak I'll apply spritz directly to the microfiber and thoroughly work over those surfaces. Like all things detailing and valeting related, the longer you spend, the better the finish will be. Although for these maintenance valets which are generally carried out once every couple of months, this process does these higher up surfaces a world of good. The centre column and you'll have to excuse some dodgy focusing whilst doing these areas, again I'll apply a decent amount of auto finesse spritz and thoroughly work in with the detail brush. Wipe clean and dry with the microfiber towel and the job is a good one. You can by all means give these areas a quick vacuum first which I have already done just to remove those loose bits of dust and debris. The next step is to give the interior a vacuum and what I tend to do is start with the driver's seat area because generally speaking unless there are incredibly messy children in the back or 72.5 dogs and 6 squirrels plus a rabbit or two then the driver's seating area is going to be the dirtiest and I certainly like to get the grunt work done first. Vacuums are incredible tools for perfectionists like myself, I mean how long would it take you to clean the interior to a spotless standard without a vacuum? Possibly hours, if not days. Praise the almighty for vacuums and never take them for granted. I like to use a George pneumatic wet and dry and for the maintenance valets it will remain on the dry setting. The George vacuum is incredibly powerful and I would highly recommend purchasing one if you are in the market for a vacuum. And also auto finesse spritz whilst we're on the recommendations topic. The floor area is given a good and thorough vacuum using all three attachments which come with the vacuum and of course the floor mats are taken out so that I can clean underneath them.
The next step is to clean the footing area including the pedals and the surrounding plastic trim and for this I like to use Valet Pro Multi-Purpose Cleaner. This goes the same for any other area on the vehicle's interior that may need a slightly deeper clean than what Auto Finesse Spritz can offer. So whilst using my Swissfax interior detail brush, I'll ensure that those dirty areas are given a good agitation. If there's any tougher stains or heavier soiling dotted around on the interior plastic surfaces, then the Tough Shine tire cleaning brush works an absolute treat. A personal trick of mine for cleaning the floor mats considering that these areas take the brunt of the dirty damage from people treading on them is to apply a generous amount of APC or upholstery cleaner and agitate it into the mat with the Tough Shine tire brush. Once thoroughly agitated, take a microfiber towel and thoroughly wipe the mat to remove the top surface staining, followed with a secondary vacuum. The next process is to give the seats a vacuum making sure to prise those seams in the leather to enable you to extract the trapped debris and for the most part with a maintenance valet after conducting this exact process for all other areas on the interior the car is going to be looking good. With the addition of cleaning the interior windows, instrument cluster, rear view mirror and the infotainment system screen. Strap in a JP Details dangly air freshener and the car is ready for the owner to enjoy once again. Just a quick breakdown of what's involved in the maintenance valet interior wise for today's video so I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and why not give that thumbs up button a tickle. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram just search JP Details. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.